Hi there, welcome back for our third part of the Ultimate College Search Guide for Seniors. Today, we're going to be talking about recommendation letters and how to request them. Applications for colleges and scholarships often require one or more recommendations. These recommendations should be from teachers, counselors, coaches, an internship or a part-time job boss, or other adults who know you very well inside and outside the classroom. Don't get friends or family members to write your recommendation letters for you unless a school specifically asks for it, as family and friends can be seen as biased. And don't ask people who seem impressive on paper unless they truly know you well enough to write you a great letter. A big name won't impress admissions offices if it's clear they don't have a close relationship with that person. Ask for your recommendation letter in a face-to-face -face meeting rather than a phone call, email, direct message, or text if you can, and let them know the latest you'll need the letters sent to the schools you're applying to. We have a blog on the site that will tell you how, when, and who to ask for a recommendation letter. We also have a YouTube video on our channel if you're a more visual learner. The links for both of those will be in the description below. Give your writers plenty of time to write their letters. Usually ask at the beginning of your senior year and provide them with things such as a list of colleges you're applying to, a paper copy of the recommendation form or a URL, a signed waiver of access to the recommendation. This means you won't see the letter, which shows the schools you trust that the writer has good things to say about you, and directions for submission of the recommendation itself. And the last thing before we go, we want to tell you don't forget to send a thank you letter to your writers to show that you appreciate them taking the time to do so. And if you like this video, make sure to check out the other ones in this series. We also have series for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors if you want more information on those years. If you like this video, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Also, click the bell button if you want to know when the next video goes live for a notification.